And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the lady of the house, Miss Brenda Moss, a.k.a. Lady Lady D. D. For the best in hip hop music, keep it locked right here on Let's Jazz It Up Blog Talk Radio.com with your girl, Lady Diva. Lady Diva, this is your house. You got it like that. All right then. Yeah, y'all, it's Lady Diva live on Let's Jazz It Up, blogtalkradio.com. Holla at your girl. Talented musician and recording artist. Are you with me, Thelcy? I'm right here, baby girl. All right, all right. Where are you calling from? Los Angeles, California, baby. All right, LA. All right. Let's get on with it. Tell us about your music journey, Mr. Fuller. Is your whole family well, you know, talented like you? Yes, they are. You know, uh, me and my brother at a young age, my oldest brother, he knew that we had talent. So he bought us our first instruments, and uh, and we went on from there. He bought me a bass guitar, and he bought my brother uh, a drum set, and we took it from there. And from there, I just went on. Uh, when I got into um, elementary school, I used to play the bongos. And then when I got to junior high school, I played the upright bass guitar. From there, I went to the piano and the clarinet. And it just grew and grew and grew until I learned all types of instruments. It just grew and grew and grew. Yes, yes, it was a, he- a really heavy journey. The journey led me to becoming, to owning my own record label called Bully Mike Records. And uh, I had 13 artists. And... um it, it, you know, you have your ups and downs in the music industry. I lost a lot of money because, I ain't going to lie to you, during those times in the 80s and stuff, you know, the drug epidemic really did a lot to a lot of people of colors, and it kind of affected me, and I lost out on everything. But by 2006, I brought, the, brought it back. I was still on drugs, and it broke me down again. But now I'm back. I've been clean for 13 years, and I want to let everybody know drugs and music do not mix. You know what I'm saying? All right. All because, right. I know, heard that. Yeah. All right. And thank you for that information. All right. So um, yes, how many years have you been in the music industry then? I beg your pardon. What you say? How many years have you been in the music industry? Oh, my Born God, to- Brenda. I've been in it since I was a kid, baby. Before Michael Jackson. So I've been in it before him. I've been in it. I've been way back with... When the Temptations started, you know, I, they, those was my inspirations. Those sparked me to do what I had to do because I always okay. was a dancer. You know what I'm saying? I danced along beside James Brown 
on forty uh on Washington and Central at the uh Bill Martin Hotel where well, all the down. celebrities used to come. Yes. Matter of fact, one of my singers, my background singers, had an opportunity to be one of James Brown's background singers. Okay. But she decided to stay with me, yeah. I have okay. had many uh, people that performed with me went on to make it really big with other stars, such as Parliament, Funkin' Dead Parliaments. One of my guitar players went on to play with him, Kevin Spencer, that was sold our records. He was my keyboard player, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. they all wanted me to come with them, but I didn't want to because I had my own group. You know what I'm saying? And what was that group? What was the name of your group then? My, I, I had several groups, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. uh, But I'm going to tell you, my, okay. my, my hottest group that won um, the battles of the band three years in a row was Excalibur. We won the battles of the band three years in a row. Okay. We were hot. When I say we were hot, we were hot, girl. You know, we broke it down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we was like Morris Day, Morris Day in them, you know what I'm saying? Prince and all okay. that. Back in those days, you know what I'm saying. Right, yeah, then, right. The, the, uh, then uh, I had the group uh, Insight. We was really good. We did a lot of it, 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 um, motivational songs, like Educate Your Mind, We Shall Rise, you know, you did a lot of things for the political parties and stuff like that. And then I went on, like I said, went on to uh, open my own record label, uh, Bully Mike Records, where I had okay. 13 artists, which I produced each one of them. There was different groups in the whole thing. And I produced the whole CD with them. And that was, a, well, it did real good. That's the one that's on <laughs> iTunes. You could still, my CD is still being right. sold right now today. Okay. All right. Well, thank you all. Thank you for that information. We have callers that's been sitting here waiting to speak. Caller area code three one eight. Go ahead and state your name. Joanne Davis. Hello, Hello Joanne Davis. You got something to say real quick? Um, yes, Delta Fuller. Um, did you go to Carver Junior High? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. Who is this? All right. All right. I remember you and the family. How how you doing? Well, I'm doing good. Well, 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 I live great. on Forty Third and Central. I used to live on Thirty Third okay. and Central. Where you to? Yes, you we did. Forty Third and Central. Yes. We got to cut this short. So, did you have? Okay, I love you, Joy. Thanks for calling in, baby. All Thank right, you for love calling you in. too. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's, God bless. Right. Yeah, that's, uh, that's too I have much. Another, I have another caller, uh, area code 323. State your name, speak. 323? 217? Yes. Yes. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, wow. Heavy Go building. With the T Man. What's up, T Man? It's your boy, Grant. Grant. Oh, Lord. My lead singer from Insight. Oh, my yes. God. How you doing, man? Excalibur, all that good stuff, young man. Oh, What's yeah. Up? You so, were with Excalibur, yeah. 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 How you doing, Greg? I'm up. I'm up, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I wish all the Baby, baby, the baby. <laughs> yeah. You got something to say? Something to say? Real quick. Well, I just... Well, I just wish him all the praises. I hope that... Uh, I know that the song that he's got going on is going to blow up, it's going to habituate, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's going to habituate. And I'm just happy that he's moving on. And we all, all going right. to grow together. Sons be all singing, right. his daughters, and it's all going to be on, all right? All, all right. right. Thank you. Thank you, man. I love you, Grant. I love you, man. I love you. All right. <laughs> all right. So all right. we're going to move along here, uh, Thelcy. Uh Let's mention about your uh, new single. Uh, my freaky side. Uh, when did this uh, track come out? And is there a brief story behind it before I spin it? Well, uh, I'm gonna tell you the truth, uh, Brenda. The song I create that song. It was me and my two sons. With one of my sons is singing the song. My matter of fact, both of my sons. We did a compilation together. I, you know, I came up with the bass line, the drums. My son came up. You know what I'm saying? We just working together in the studios. And we was out there playing pool because we had a pool table. And just briefly, we came up with the song, man, you know, 
We was at the club. I saw that girl, man. She brought out my freak in me. I said, let's make that song called Freaky Side. And we did. All right. <laughs> All right. Here is my freaky side, everybody. I'll be right back. Freaky side, girl. Funny bones where you just want to dance with her all night long. 
Or old ladies like me, I'd be like, oh, he brings out my freaky side. How about that? <laughs> Baby girl, you're not that old. You're still fine and sick, girl. I saw your picture. Oh, you look good, okay. girl. You look-